upside down. We played hide and go seek in lagoons created out of bed sheets, and we used forts that were made out of math worksheets. And you trained me in arithmetic, so I wouldn't just be dope as a structural engineer. You wanted me to be an engineer that could create smiles on my mom's face that can never face other. Well structured letters after T always in uppercase. In the summer of 1988, you taught me how to paint. You walk me through the streets of the Columbus Project to see Basquiat prototypes. We contorted our bodies around jungle gyms to understand dodgies and keep Harry graffiti. We wore hammer pants and, and we had <laughs> friendship bracelets. We played pogs. You always got my dopest slammers. When it was hot, you were the first to touch my heart and change the hue on my Technicolor t-shirt. You blew on the cartridge to make Zelda work. <laughs> but more than a video game, you showed me how to catch knives and throw plays. You put your chin on my shoulder and you whispered in my ear that Frida Kahlo was your favorite because instead of painting like a, a black canvas and a stupid pink line through it and calling it art, she would paint a picture of herself with her heart exposed and her arteries freight in express ways to a ribcage to house dead monkeys and froze. You told me that sometimes metaphors were like Duncan Hines icing on Parisian jasmine creme brulee. <laughs> Then, ironically, we would go home and eat funfetti frosting from the tube with index finger spoons and talk about how hot Princess Jasmine was from Aladdin. I'm going to say mom was prettier, though. So you made me iron lowercase L's down each pant leg center from my braided belt to my boat shoelaces, mainly because you never wanted me to depend on a lady to iron out the wrinkles in my life. I didn't understand, but I had to listen to you because you're the one that showed me how to catch a knife and throw plenty. So you showed me how to love women by the way that you sunrise and my mother's eyes that were shaped like buckeyes and acorns. How your paws seemed like a puppy's handshake with plates like fingerprints on her hips. I used to catch you slow dancing to the rhythm of her romantic heartbeat. I too learned how to dance one step behind, awkward, with a beautiful woman's heart for a phonograph. Once I came home, looking like Malbec grapes and boysenberries had held a conference around my eyelids. You told me that mom wanted steak for dinner anyway. <laughs> Ten years before MMA, you showed me VHS cassettes with Bruce Lee into the dragon written on the sticker, followed by Muhammad Ali fighting a man in a jungle like Vietnam, and this grainy copy of a cartoon called um, Voltron from Japan, because some animated times that have to use multiple elements of my arsenal to combine to defeat my enemies. And if all else fails, all my mutant powers that I could throw flames and catch not. The one thing that I loved the most about you, Poppy, was that you read the Bible with the intensity of a comic strip with built in early 90s hip hop soundtrack. <laughs> I mean, you made me memorize the books so I could understand the library. You made me recite the verses until the rhymes became my language. But most importantly, when the book closed, the pages became animated like you find a film in the movie of your life. See, you lived those pages. I mean, I saw your genesis, and, and I saw your acts, and, and I saw your revelation. You told us that mom was your main ministry even before us, so if we ever disrespected her, that we'd have to carry the cross, be crucified, roll back the rock in order to descend into her and your good graces with a half smile, a face, face kind of like Mr. Potato Head. We never decided to find out if you were toying around, though. Instead, we tucked at your suit, jacket, dying after school, begging to throw knives and catch fire once we changed into our play clothes. Truth be told, that the only knives you ever threw were through our family like a cruel form of open heart surgery. The only flames I threw were fireballs and Super Mario Brothers cartridges at my friend's house because single motherhood couldn't afford A and B buttons, much less power pads or name brand anything. Forget throwing flames. We were trying to throw enough at Edison to keep our lights on. <laughs> The only thing you ever taught me was that it doesn't matter if your dad's face is identical to yours, because if you're not around, people will always tell you you look just like your mother. Don't call me Anthony. 
Anthony is somewhere reading the Bible right. Anthony is in Ohio with his new family. Anthony, my dad, my, my old man, he did used to read the Bible. But he never made it past Exodus. We used to play catch with knives and throw flames for 40 yard touchdowns because there was no dad at home to remind us that it was dangerous. 